China has made significant advancements in bridge construction technology, with the development of innovative machinery that greatly accelerates the construction process. One such machine is the SLJ-900-32, also known as the Iron Monster. The Iron Monster is a bridge-building machine developed by the Beijing Wao Joint Machinery Company and designed by the Shijiazhuang Railway Design Institute. This massive machine, weighing in at a whopping 680 tons, completely automates the bridge-building process, saving both time and money. The Iron Monster lifts, carries, and sets prefabricated and full-length track sections at a loaded speed of 3.1 miles per hour, 5 kilometers per hour. This eliminates the need for prolonged on-site assembly processes. The machine moves via its 64 fully rotating wheels divided into four blocks. The Iron Monster has been used in several large-scale projects. For instance, it was used in the construction of the Yibin Jinsha River Railway Bridge, the world's longest road rail steel arch bridge project. Before the construction of the Yibin Jinsha, it took 12 hours to travel between the provinces of Sichuan and Guizhou in China. Now, the estimated travel time has dropped to 3 hours. Another example is the high-speed rail project linking Inner Mongolia with the rest of China as part of China's vision of an 18,641.1 mile long, 30,000 kilometers, high-speed rail. These advancements in bridge construction technology have played a crucial role in China's Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to link Asia, Africa, and Europe. Despite some criticisms, these inventions are still of high importance in construction engineering. The automation of the bridge construction process by the Iron Monster results in cost savings and more efficient use of resources. This is particularly beneficial for large-scale projects, such as China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Iron Monster eliminates the need for prolonged on-site assembly processes, as it can handle prefabricated and full-length track sections. This not only speeds up construction but also reduces the potential for errors that can occur during manual assembly. The Iron Monster is versatile and can be used in a variety of bridge construction projects. For instance, it was used in the construction of the Yibin Jinsha River Railway Bridge, the world's longest road rail steel arch bridge project. The Kesanuma Bay Crossing Bridge Construction Project, which MM Bridge Company, Limited is in charge of, is officially named National Route 45 Kesanuma Bay Crossing Bridge and was built to replace the old bridge damaged in the Great East Japan earthquake. The project began in 2012 with the focus on selecting the route for the bridge. After thorough investigations and considering the opinions of the local community, the construction of the bridge on the seaward route crossing Kesanuma Bay was decided. The actual design process commenced with priority given to measures against natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunamis. The bridge's placement was ensured not to obstruct rich fishing grounds or aquaculture sites. The design and color scheme were harmonized with the surrounding natural environment. Preliminary design began in March 2012, with wind tunnel tests and earthquake-resistant design in 2013, and detailed design in 2014. The land portion was constructed as a typical steel box girder bridge, while the sea portion was planned to be constructed as a cable-stayed bridge spanning the sea, supported by two main towers. One of the distinctive technical features of the Kesanuma Bay Crossing Bridge is the implementation of a novel design method called damage control design. This method involved careful analysis and examination of potential damages caused by disasters such as storms, earthquakes, or tsunamis on each component of the bridge. The Kesanuma Bay Crossing Bridge was a very complex and challenging project due to its scale and the unique construction environment. Based on an investigation of the seabed ground, strong foundation piles were driven to support the bridge. This is an important process for withstanding earthquakes and tsunamis. Piers were constructed on top of the foundation piles. 
These are important structures that support the weight of the bridge. The main tower is a huge concrete structure, and was constructed by stacking blocks called segments. This process was carried out using cranes and special construction methods. The main girder suspended between the main towers is an important part that forms the skeleton of the bridge. This process posed a difficult challenge of erecting the main girder over a distance of approximately 1000 m, the longest distance of construction over the sea in the world. The deck was laid on the main girders to create a roadway and sidewalk. Asphalt and concrete were laid on the deck to create a passable road surface. Protective fences and lighting were installed to ensure safety. Learning from the lessons of the Great East Japan Earthquake. High earthquake resistance and tsunami countermeasures were implemented. The world's longest offshore construction distance was achieved in the erection of the main girders. This demonstrates the high level of Japanese bridge construction technology and was achieved by overcoming many difficulties. The bridge opened in March 2021, taking nine years and four months from project start. The bridge spans Kesanuma Bay, Miyagi Prefecture, with a total length of 1,344 meters. The nickname, Kaneo Hashi, was chosen from names submitted by the public. Kane comes from the word kaniru in Japanese, which means to fulfill hopes, dreams, and wishes. The Kesanuma Bay Crossing Bridge is expected to serve as an emergency transport route and is designed not to get flooded from tsunamis. It is a testament to the resilience and recovery of the region after the devastating earthquake. Waddle Bontonimung GmbH, a construction company based in the Lanshut region, carried out a significant bridge installation project in Walpertskirchen, Bavaria, Germany. The project involved the replacement of a bridge that originated from the 19th century. The old structure was demolished and a new bridge was installed during a four-day closure period. The new bridge weighed approximately 1,400 tons. To move this massive structure into its final position, a distance of 34 meters, a special displacement construction with hydraulic cylinders was used. The bridge installation in Walpertskirchen by Wattel Bontonimung GmbH was completed during a four-day closure period. This includes the time taken to move the new bridge into its final position using a special displacement construction with hydraulic cylinders.